All right, welcome back, everyone. The latest accessory for the Jet Set crowd, your own butler or household manager. And it's not a bad life. Butlers earn up to $175,000 a year, plus, of course, all the amenities that go therewith. Posh estates, travel first class. So how hard is it to get a job uh, butlering or butling? Not sure what the right term may be there, but let's ask William Althoff, lead educator at Starkey International. It's the only school for household management in the United States. And given the segment uh, that we are doing, I suppose I should be more formal here and call you Mr. Althoff. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. So this is the newest, uh, the newest accessory. I mean, have you seen a, a real surge in demand for household managers, butlers? Well, recently we have, uh, not only because of the publicity like CNBC and Wall Street Journal and New York Times and Chicago Tribune, but uh, you'd have to be under a rock to see that people are getting more wealthy and they need our services. So what, what are these services? I mean, you know, I'm just thinking back to some famous TV shows, perhaps. Uh, what, what exactly does the modern household manager do? Well, first of all, we, we've really moved away from the word butler and into household manager. Uh, it's, you think about Jeeves, you think about uh, right. Mr. Stevens and Remains of the Day. Yep. But we have transcended that into a professional manager that you would look just as I do, not with a bow tie, standing with white gloves in a corner, but out and taking care of your business of your home. I see the picture there, though, of you at your training school, Mr. Altop, with a ruler lining up, uh, lining up dishes. I mean, that's still a part of it. That's sort of uh, what we would think of as, you know, British precision. Well, what we say is we have structure but not stuffiness. It's really important that we measure those plates so our people, our servers, can get between the guests. It's matter of function. And how much do, uh, do household managers earn? I mean, is this something where, uh, and also tell me, when we, when we talk about these numbers, are we also getting benefits here, health care plans, 401Ks? Exactly. You probably only have to pay for your cell phone at the end of the day. However, we, uh, we position our students when they come here that if they are brand new into the service industry, don't expect that $175,000 you spoke of. Mm -hmm. That's for an experienced person, perhaps with a master's degree, and maybe 20 years of experience in uh, arranging uh, events and international travel and things like that. That's a highly experienced person. But 50 to 70 is not unrealistic for our students in their first job. And, and briefly, uh, is this mostly a, a New York phenomenon right now, or tri-state oh, no. area? It, it, it's international, and we have... Uh, we have placements uh, in the major cities of the United States, but also uh, we've gone to Shanghai, China, and in mm -hmm. Europe. All right. Well, Mr. Altoff, thank you very much. We appreciate your joining us today. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Burnett. <laughs> All right.